was one of the few French women filmmakers during the mid-1910s through the mid-1930s. She used camera work and editing techniques that involved many optical and visual effects to emphasize mental subjectivity, making a few of her films the first French Impressionist and pre-surrealist film. French Impressionism was a period in the 1920s in which filmmakers explored film as an art form, while Surrealism was a period in the late 1920s in which filmmakers aspired to produce films that were above real. She spanned both of these categories. One of her main techniques used to capture the abstraction of the French Impressionist style, as well as the dreamlike states and altered reality of the Surrealist style, is superimposition. In The Seashell and the Clergyman, superimposition is used to show the mess of thoughts and the combination of reality and fantasy. It marries the possible with the impossible, once again using a French Impressionist technique to take the narrative above realism. In The Smiling La Lady Boudot, it is used to show Lady Boudot's fantasies, creating a world that is realistic, but that the viewer is aware it exists only in her dreams. This practice combines the French Impressionist technique of su superimposition to show a surrealist theme of desires manifested in dreams. In The Invitation to Travel, superimposition is used to combine the real world with the main character's fantasy world of what life could be and to enhance important scenes such as this one. Germain Dulac's use of superimposition helps the viewer recognize the difference between reality and a character's mental reality. She also uses superimposition to transition between shots, giving a dreamlike feeling to her films. Another technique Dulac uses to create a dreamlike state is slow and fast motion. By speeding up or slowing down movements, Dulac portrays reality in an unrealistic manner. Dulac uses slow motion in The Smiling Lady Boudot to add dreamlike movements in her fantasies. This helps orient the viewer in the context of reality and fantasy. Fast motion shots are used to portray the husband in an irritating light. The quickness of his movements make him uncomfortable for the viewer to watch and help convey Lady Boudot's feelings of annoyance. Slow motion is most used in her surrealist film, The Seashell and the Clergyman. It gives the viewer a sense that the reality portrayed is unreal, making the shots and actions surreal. The dancing scene combines both fast and slow motion to produce a dizzying effect, much like you would find in a dream. To convey the sense of distorted reality in dreams, Dulac uses distortions. It gives the viewer a discomforting feeling about the scene, and by changing the sense of perspective, we come to realize that perhaps the perspective is not real. By distorting clips in The Seashell and the Clergyman, Dulac produces a disorienting effect only found in the surreal land. Since The Seashell and the Clergyman is her most surreal film, distortion is used in most in this film and shows the distortion of the clergyman's reality. In The Smiling Lady Boudot, there are a few instances of distortion used mainly to emphasize the irritation of Mr. Boudot and Lady Boudot's fantasies. In her films, Dulac uses the French Impressionist technique of blurring, called soft focus, to create the visual sense of a dreamland. Soft focus is mostly seen in The Smiling Lady Boudot to convey the transition into a fantasy or the presence of a fantasy. Just like in dreams, where reality is twisted and unclear, soft focus helps make the unclarity visual and relays to the viewer the immediacy of a dream. Soft focus is also used in The Seashell and the Clergyman to sustain a dreamlike state. In transitions, it acts as a blur to another setting. In scenes, it serves to emphasize the unclarity of the situation and actions in the surreal film. In The Invitation to Travel, soft focus is used to romanticize situations. 
we see soft focus in the clip of clouds in her fantasy, as well as in the allure of the dance floor. Jermaine Tulloch was the first filmmaker to produce films that were both French Impressionist and pre-surrealist. Her combination of French Impressionist techniques such as superimposition, slow and fast motion, distortions, and soft focus used to create a surreal environment is what makes her film cinematic and out of the ordinary.